So, you know, I really don't want to repeat myself because, you know, I do these daily updates on Jasmine, uh, the graph, you know, Filecoin, uh, ICP. So I do daily updates. So I want to make sure I'm not repeating myself. So what I want to do today, you know, is I want to cover Jasmine, but I want to use, you know, different indicators, you know, indicators that I don't normally use. That is what I want to do. So here we have Jasmine, you know, it is back above two cents, uh, looking pretty good. Uh, we do still have, you know, this major resistance right here. Uh, we talked about the resistance, but there's a few things that I want to talk about from a bullish outlook. You know, number one, I need you to take a look at the daily MACD. If you are a buyer, all right, if you are bullish on something, this is exactly what you want your daily MACD to look like. Uh, it looks like, you know, the daily MACD is giving us, you know, a bullish confirmation. You know, sometimes these confirmations could be fake outs. Uh, here we had a fake out right here. You know, we had a bullish daily MACD, but it was only a fake out. Uh, but, you know, nonetheless, you know, that was a great time to, you know, to buy Jasmine. Now, price hasn't gone up, you know, which is perfectly fine. Uh, but here we have, you know, another bullish confirmation right here. Now, is this mean that a price is going to go up? You know, is it 100% guarantee we go up? Absolutely not. You know, this could potentially be another fake out. But if there was ever a time for you to be a buyer, these are the times, all right? These are the times if there was ever a perfect time to buy Jasmine. Uh, you always want to be a buyer, you know, when your indicators are resetting, not when your indicators are extended. So, for example, a couple months ago, all right, maybe not too many months ago because, you know, we're only talking about March. Uh, you know, given that we are in April, you know, March is last month. So a couple of weeks ago, you know, when Jasmine was right here, this was not really the best time, you know, to buy Jasmine from an indicator outlook. And the reason was because, you know, if you look at the daily MACD, like we were way, way too extended, guys. And if you also look at your daily RSI, all right, Jasmine, you know, was way, way overbought. Now, just because the RSI is in overbought territory, you know, it doesn't really mean that it's time to take profits. You know, it doesn't mean that the top is in. Uh, what it basically means is, you know, the asset is a little bit too extended, all right? Maybe pretty soon there is going to be, you know, some sort of a pullback. So it basically gives you a heads up. And that's exactly, all right, what it did in March. So we were overbought right here. You know, daily RSI was a 96. Uh, I don't remember the last time, you know, Jasmine's daily RSI was all the way up in the 90s. You know, you got to go back to uh, basically the last bull market, guys. Yeah, you got to go back to November. Yeah, November 2023. You know, daily RSI was in the 88, all right? And you also got to go all the way back to, you know, early 2023, early 2023, you know, daily RSI in the early 80s. And you also got to go all the way back to the last bull market, you know, basically sometimes towards the end of 2021. Uh, but, you know, simply if you look at these indicators right here, the best time to be a buyer is, you know, when your indicators are right down here. So in terms of the MACD, you want to be a buyer when the MACD is on the zero line. So let me show you exactly what that looks like. You know, if you were buying right here, you know, between, you know, mid-January and all the way until early April, like you are basically accumulating right here, guys. You are basically accumulating the lows of this pullback. And, you know, right after that, you know, you went on to do a, you know, basically a 400% move all right 400 percent gains you know after accumulating right down here when your macd was right down here guys around the zero line uh the other best time to buy jasmine you know was definitely back here you know sometimes in august of 2023 uh take a look at the daily macd you know we were right down around the zero line and you know you were basically again you know accumulating right here and if you would have done that all right, you went on to do, you know, a little bit over a 100% move. So here we are, you know, back again, 
And I'm telling you right now, like this is the best time to be a buyer. You know, I don't know how long this thing is going to consolidate, but you want to make sure that you are buying right here because once, you know, this is over, once the daily MACD, you know, starts to, you know, to rise, you know, once we start to push up and start to retest these areas, you know, the price of Jasmine is going to be around, you know, 5 cents, somewhere around 8 cents and somewhere around 10 cents. So, you know, if you think about that, you know, in terms of percentage wise, you know, you're looking at a five, you're looking at a 300% move, you're looking at a 500% move, and you're looking at very close to a 10x basically. So again, you know, really not trying to repeat what many of my recent updates have done, you know, the things that I have highlighted, you know, I'm simply showing you that if there was ever a time for you to be buying Jasmine, you know, if you were, if you were ever bullish on this project, if you're ever considering accumulating Jasmine, these are the times, all right? Forget about there's going to be a pullback. Forget about, you know, trying to get in at a profit, you know, entry, all right? You are never, all right? I'm telling you, you are never, ever, ever going to get in at the absolutely bottom of the pullback uh, because that is, you know, very close to impossible. Uh, but what you do is, you know, as an investor, you know, you're trying to get in uh, when the token is trading at a fair valuation or, you know, when we are at a big discount. Uh, so from a bullish outlook, you know, I'm very bullish on Jasmine technically uh, and actually in the short term as well. And to me, you know, the invalidation is, you know, if we take out these lows right here. So if the price of Jasmine was to come back and take out these lows, then I'll have to be back bearish in the short term and I'll have on the daily at least. And I'll have to start talking about you know, retesting, you know, these potential targets right here. And these are some of the targets that we talked about. And again, you know, really not trying to repeat myself, but I want to show you a different, you know, a different way to, you know, value Jasmine, a different way to look at this project and, you know, different ways to, you know, try to come up with uh, reasons, you know, to be bullish on the token and reasons to, you know, invest in this project. Uh, another way that I want to look at this is by using the super trend. Now, I personally don't, you know, really use this indicator, uh, but it is another indicator. There is no perfect indicator. But if you are, you know, someone who is, you know, new to the cryptocurrency market, if you don't know how to do technical analysis and you just want something that is, you know, easy and straightforward, you know, something that tells you when to buy and when to sell, I think this is a great tool for you. So super trend right here, guys. And we're looking at, you know, we are on the daily time frame. So you can see, you know, based on the super trend that we bought right here, you know, the moment we broke above these local resistance around 0599, that is when this, that is when the buy, you know, when the buy, um, excuse me, when the buy indicator was triggered, all right, right here. And ever since, I mean, we have no reason to sell our position. There is absolutely zero reason to sell your Jasmine. You know, sounds very familiar, doesn't it? Can I tell you guys that despite the pullback, there is no reason to take profits. You know, I am in Jasmine since, you know, late 22 and all 2023. And despite this big 50% pullback, there has never been a reason for me to exit my Jasmine position. So based on the super trend, you know, there's really no reason uh, to exit on the daily. Uh, the, uh, you know, exiting will be, you know, exactly what I just gave you guys, you know, earlier. You know, if we lose this support right here, so if the price was to come back and lose this support right here, you know, the super trend will trigger a sell signal. You know, just like right here, you know, we trigger a sell signal the moment we lost uh, this support right here. Uh, but as far as, you know, this indicator is concerned, uh, you still have a, you know, very bullish token. And, you know, you want to be a buyer right now. You know, you definitely want to be a buyer. Uh, it's not just a super trend that is, you know, pointing to a bullish daily outlook. Uh, if you look at the Bollinger Band, all right, Bollinger Band, you know, on the daily, uh, we are back in, you know, of course, bullish territory. So between the orange and the upper blue band, that is when you have to be bullish. So what I would like to see is, you know, I would like to see us stay above, you know, this orange line right here. Uh, the longer we continue to stay above the orange line, you know, the more bullish. Uh, but of course. You know, this indicator alone is, you know, it's not really going to give you a much, you know, accurate information on, you know, what actually needs to play out. 
Uh, but this is a great way to, you know, to look at Jasmine. What I would do is, you know, I will also add, you know, another resource or another way to, you know, look at Jasmine. And to me, you know, that will be some sort of a trend line. So if I'm putting a trend line right here, uh, if we break, you know, out of this trend line, you know, that will be another confirmation for you to be even more bullish on the project. So that is Jasmine, guys. You know, really nothing has changed. You know, my updates continues to sound the same day in and day out. Uh, there's really no new information. Uh, I don't think there's any reason, you know, not to be excited about Jasmine. The bigger the consolidation, the bigger the pump. And if you are a person without a lot of capital and you have to rely on, you know, a nine to five income to invest in the market, you know, I think this is the perfect, this is the perfect environment for you because you have time, all right? You have time to build a solid position. I've said this time and time again. Uh, don't be in a rush. There's going to be time where price goes up. But as far as I'm concerned, you know, right now, we are looking bullish, but we're more likely to continue to go sideways until we are proven, you know, until we are proven otherwise.